Hey guys, this is John the Outlaw, aka the One Handed Gamer. Today I'm gonna give you my personal opinion on this game, Uncharted 3, Drake's Deception. These games just keep getting better and better as they go and they come out. So you start off pretty much in South America, in you start off in Colombia, pretty much in the desert, but it's way more detailed than the the, the first two. Like for instance, um, when you're walking. Into the cave, uh, you see Nathan and put his hand on the wall. Or when you're stumbling across the desert, um, you you can see him uh, putting his knee, his hands on his knees. You know, like things like that, like little details like that. And also, um, another thing that I really like is um, melee takes a bigger uh, part in a, a bigger role in this game than did in the previous two. Um, uh, and it also has encounters as well. So the melee, they took it to another level and they have encounters. Alright, this right here is the beginning of the game. As you can see, he's uh, trying to grab an artifact from hanging, that's hanging from the wall. It's like golden, golden deer. Um, Alright, this is some um, shooting gameplay that I want to show you guys. You guys see those, those tanks in the back? Um, and right there in the sides, there's um, a lot of them. Um, so you, you guys can pretty much shoot the tanks, um, uh, grenades become a bigger, uh, bigger part in, um, these, um, this game than in the, in, in the previous two. Also, um, the season gameplay has, in, has improved a lot, in my opinion. Not only, um, does it, it feel like more comfortable to shoot, but you can also, um, Nathan moves a little bit, moves and shoots a little bit smoother, in my opinion. Also... There's also great cinematic moments in the game that you have uh, that that weren't uh, in the previous games as well, and also the storyline is great, even better than the first two. I think they did a better job uh, with this game than uh, uh, the first two Uncharted games. Definitely, um, this game's uh, by far the. Um, for, I only played three so far. I still gotta play the fourth one. Um, I'm pretty sure the fourth one is gonna gonna be better. Uh, because this game just keeps getting better and better as they come out um, for PS4 exclusives. Alright guys, um, thanks for, uh, for stopping by and watching the video. Make sure to uh, hit that like button. And if you guys haven't checked out my channel yet, make sure to do so. There's uh, live streams daily, tons of guides, and many more. Alright guys, um, your boy One Handed Gamer. Alright guys, peace out. Destroyed by God for its arrogance. Swallowed forever in the sands of the Rubel Kali Desert. Right here. <laughs> I like the immeasurable wealth part, anyway. And you think this is what it is? It does indeed sent Drake right after. Oh, yeah. And more importantly, it's what Marlowe's after. So, wait. If Drake was on a mission from the Queen to find this place, why all the secrecy? I mean, it looks like he went to a lot of trouble to hide whatever he found, even from Her Majesty. I don't know. No, hang on a second. Because if you recall, the last time we went halfway around the world searching for a lost city, things got more than a little dicey. Yeah, but this time we have the upper hand. And look, Drake only had half the clues. Lawrence only had half. We have both. And Marlowe has nothing. Small problem. The Rubelkali Desert, 600 miles across. The Bedouins go around it. And even if we knew where it was, which we don't, we would die. Just hold on. You see these symbols here? Yeah. Looks like Sabian's crypt. crypt. Right. But the Crusaders were searching for the same lost city a thousand years ago. But out of all the sites Lawrence documented, only two are marked with these symbols. One in Syria, the other in France. No, you two are going to Syria. We're heading to France. Look, we track down these clues. We find Lawrence's lost city. I'm sure of it. Well, I'm no more. How are we going to get across 600 miles of impossible wasteland? It's in the middle of the desert. So technically, it would be about 300 miles. Wow. Look, I don't know. We'll figure it out. We burn that bridge when we get to it, eh? Exactly. What do you say? What the hell? Let's do it. <laughs>